okay, we're going to do this a little different. I don't want to have my image over, like, my face over the drone's video. So I just, what I did is I put all the drone clips in one long sequence that you can just watch uninterrupted, but you might not know what you're looking at. So I'm going to quickly intro um, what I did or where I flew with the drone so you kind of, you can kind of relate to what you're seeing or you got an idea or frame of mind. This is west of Fremont. Um, I'm making this primarily for locals around Fremont, Nebraska, but if you're watching this and you're not from the area, um, because I'm going to post the 4K clips to YouTube because YouTube supports 4K, but I'm also putting the video straight to Facebook so it can um, play back on Facebook. Like you can't get a YouTube video to play on Facebook. You got to upload it to Facebook. So locals will know what this is. Non-locals won't. And if you're watching, I appreciate the time. Um, but anyway, this is west of Fremont. Platte River is right here. Ridge Road is this right here. Ridge Road is what's closed. Big Island Road right here is where it cuts off. And they got a road closed sign right there. So what I did, and I'm going to use this fancy graphic I made for uh, my drone. The blue triangle is the, the uh, angle of the camera. I took off and flew down Ridge Road this way, and at some point I kind of turned to the side and looked down this road here. There's a sign that says like, whoa, stop, private property or private lane. Uh, you'll see that there. And then uh, I continue flying the drone down this way. And you'll notice there's an ice jam right here. Actually, the whole thing is frozen. It's a, the whole thing is like an ice jam. Uh, I emailed the National Weather Service and they haven't gotten back to me yet, but this was like only an hour or two ago. So I, it's not like I expected immediate response. Um, and if I get more information from them, I'll put that into another post or edit this one with more information. Uh, but Platte River is frozen as expected because we've had like single digit temperatures with negatives during the day, um, uh, day and night. So Platte River is very much frozen with some ice jamming and ice chunks on it. And what we're seeing, and you'll notice it in the drone video, is the Platte River is actually starting to flow east down the uh, ridge road. Like you see running water there. So I fly this way to kind of see where it goes, but there's a range limit on the drone so I don't go all the way down. Um, and then at some point I'll angle down. Uh, the drone points down and kind of turns to look back towards this bend on Ridge Road. I fly back and then I fly over the Platte River Bridge and kind of do this lateral movement. But there's also some power lines that cross right here. And uh, power lines can sneak up on drones because the obstacle avoidance is not as sensitive to sense that power line. Um, also, it's when you're looking at it through a small screen, you don't see those lines. So if you notice all my movements are real slow, it's because anything that's like below 100 feet, I try to move very, very slow because you just don't know what obstacles are there. If I'm flying at 200 feet, which I don't because this is within an, like airplanes aren't here, but there's an airfield nearby. Um, I don't I try to limit how high I go and how low I go. And you got to be conscientious of your speed and obstacles. So I fly very carefully over the river um, in the lateral movement. And then uh, that's where you'll, you'll see some turkeys over here too, if you got an eye for it. Uh, and then I fly back. And as I fly back, I kind of turn and look at this lake here and go backwards. And I easily come back. And I don't show you landing, but that's when I co go, come back and land. So that's the flight path of the drone. What you'll see next is the actual video from the drone. Um, and if you find this video has any value, um, particularly locally, if, like I say, if you're watching on YouTube nationally or internationally, I, I don't expect this to be a particular interest to you, but if you watch it, great. But if you're a local and you're like, hey, I, this thing had value, you can leave a tip in the, uh, there's going to be a link to a PayPal. And you can be like, well, here's a couple bucks. Appreciate the time providing the information. Otherwise, uh, like, share, um, comment that kind of stuff. I think that sometimes helps um, get the word out. Uh, appreciate the time and have a good one.